Hi there, Dietitian Mel from Active Health Clinic. As a dietitian, I have a lot of conversations that I will have quite frequently, but one of them that I talk about the most with patients is them feeling really overly full and well, um, bloated, having pain or cramping in their abdomen, feeling nauseous, just generally feeling horrible after eating, and sometimes no matter the amount. Uh, sometimes also even exacerbated fatigue or other areas of pain after meals. And I recognize this can happen for a number of reasons, but one thing that I'd like to try with people first, and one thing that a lot of the time is incredibly helpful for patients, is to actually stop and rest around meals. Now, I know resting around meals sounds pretty straightforward. Um, and, you know, how can they possibly be more detailed to go into than that? But I thought I'd explain a little bit around the physiology behind this. So if we think about it, living with invisible illness, a lot of the time you'll be in a fight or flight sympathetic state, uh, or nervous system state. Now, when we're in our fight or flight, our survival brain will sense a threat or a danger. Um, and it will be like, cool. There's a tiger to run away from. Um, it will upregulate certain systems in your body to physically fight or flight, to run away from that tiger. Um, it, and to do that, it can't just get the energy and the resources from thin air to be able to do this. It actually needs to take from another area. And that is our digestive system. <laughs> I like to use this really weird metaphor. If you can imagine if, you know, by an odd chance, you happen to be chasing or being chased by a tiger. And if there's someone up further ahead and they offer you a plate of food while you're running, you wouldn't stop, sit down, eat the plate of food, then keep running. The tiger would catch up to you. The threat would catch up to you. Your body recognizes that that's not safe. You would probably keep running or even throw the plate in the person's face or maybe not in their face, but you'd throw the plate away. Now, that's kind of what your body does by down-regulating your digestive system. It's putting you further away from your rest and digest, and which is your parasympathetic nervous system. So this is where I often suggest resting a little bit before a meal can be good to help make the nervous system understand there is no tiger, we can rest, we can relax, it's time to eat. And then resting a little bit afterwards as well and doing something restorative in both circumstances can be helpful to just let your body do its thing to digest or start to digest the food. And then we can move on with another activity, you know, putting away the dishes, cleaning up, having a shower, whatever we need to do. But it's important to have that rest and to not just get up straight away and do something um, or even eat while working or eat while walking. Um, these are definitely not resting and digesting. Like Luke says in his book, Eat What You Want, he said, stressful lives don't equal tummy vibes. Um, and I think that also perfectly explains that to have good tummy vibes, to feel better after eating. Sometimes we just need to take a step back and slow down. If you feel that this is you, give this a go, see how it goes. And if you have any questions around this, we are always more than happy to chat. So please reach out. And like I said before, it can be multiple reasons why you feel the way that you feel after eating. Um, and that's why it's always important to talk through it with someone who can understand the whole picture. Give it a go, like I said, and happy eating.